fishing while the rain is not there so hopefully it won't be there for a couple of uh you know at least an hour or two so i can do a little bit of fishing brought my uh, um cast a uh, well bait casting rod and i'm using it to do some catfishing so i got 12 pounds so i'm gonna use some uh, new uh, power bait catfish bait from berkeley that i got in the states yesterday so uh gonna use that and just put a little bit on a hook right there so hopefully you guys can see that so and I also got a bullet weight right there so this is a one ounce bullet weight so I'm just gonna put that on there just throw that in the water and I'm gonna fish with a um, with a Senko for so for bass while this is uh, holding up so hopefully it'll work out good so let's go ahead and cast that in the water so dude, I'm, I'm gonna pull my uh, I'm gonna pull my dude you, you see here the uh, my rod is kind of stuck here so uh, at least the, the rod's not gonna go anywhere but the piece of foam that they got on the end I wonder if you can remove that or unscrew it or something that'll be practical but that that for the Berkeley there this is a little bit too small for uh, accommodating my uh, casting rod at least the fish not going gonna go anywhere so all right so let's toss that in the water and see what happens far enough so I'm just gonna put that back in here so at least like that I need to stretch that out and I wonder if it can stretch stretch this thing out a little so hopefully like that so now I need to find a spot where I can set up my uh, casting rod I'm gonna go with the Senko and the fish seems to like the Senko over here so I'm gonna go with the Senko and since the current is kind of dragging my stuff over that way and you can see the rod bending because of the current and the weight I wonder if that catfish bait is going to work I don't know we'll see so anyway it's going to finish my setup for uh, finish my setup for uh, my Senko and my casting rod spinning rod so the winds picking up so usually when the wind picks up it means it's going to rain fucking it's annoying so Hi right, guys, so if I catch a fish, you guys will see it, hopefully, if it's not raining, <laughs> and I can use my uh, camera. Sean, I think I got myself a catfish. Go pick it up. Damn, it swallowed that thing. Oh, man. It's gonna get some my GoPro. Come here. Need to hold the line steady one. There you go. Come here. So cat myself a catfish and I'm fucking messed up in my lines anyway. Alright, I think swallowed it. Good. Come here, you little catfish. Come on, open up if you want me to unhook you. Treble hook is deep. Maybe I should switch to regular hooks, right? I got one out. I got two out. Only got one out to go. I'm good. So, come on. Just helping you out, little buddy. There you go. Three out. So, nice little catfish. Oh, thing's got some vice in it. Now, so you guys saw it. Catch a catfish. Now I got a reel in my other line. 
So hopefully I don't have a fish on there. So I right, catch you guys on the next one. Got tons of people here, so just caught a catfish, a few pounds. Wish I'd measured it, but when there's people around and you're trying to undo a catfish, it's uh, a little bit trickier. So still getting used to having people around with the uh, giddy up, filming and fishing at the same time. So I got another location for catfish that's way better and there's like nobody. So, but uh, I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna redo the, my setup. Uh, what I used was a um, little stinker treble hook. But that thing is just a little too um, too many hooks on that, so I'll switch it up. Actually, you know what? I'll put a new one there. So some other people coming to fish. Whoops. I don't want to lose that because I'm going to throw that in the garbage. Where's the garbage can? That is a garbage can close. So anyway, I'm going to use a... Why not put those things? Just a little thing I caught for nine, I got for 99 cents at a store. So hopefully they're going to be here. And I'm using some uh, Berkley uh, Power Dip. So a catfish bait, Berkley Power Dip. So I'm using that. Now if I can just find my... Well, ne next one I catch, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on. So uh, put it on the scale. This one I didn't have time. So. Anyways, gotta find my where well, I put those lures. Hopefully I did not forget them home. I will hope I didn't for. Ah, uh, there they are. All right, right in the bottom tackle box here. So I got this um, Lindy or yeah Lindy. So legendary fishing tackle. I just got these little uh, waist grubs. So ten packs of waist grub. So you guys can see that. I'm just gonna put that on the octop octopus hook. So uh, this is gonna be a single hook. It's gonna be way easier to catch and catfish. So, anyways, I'm gonna go back out. I'm just finished re reeling in my senko because I just threw it in when it started to bite. So just finished reeling in my senko. So all right, I'm gonna catch you guys here and catch. Okay. Turn it back on if I catch a fish. Hey guys, by doing 1979. Thought I'd finish my fishing vlog on the uh, couch, so uh, might as well talk to you guys a little bit about my trip that I took yesterday in the states. So uh, I went to the Champlain Valley uh, Mall uh, because there's a Dick Sporting Good over there. So uh, when I typed it in for, uh, I was looking for like two or three big chains of. Um, of a sporting equipment, uh, hunting, fishing, and stuff like that. I was looking at Dick's, I was looking at Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's, but I didn't know there was another one. There's something called Kender Mountain, so that's another one. So uh, uh, that thing saved the day because Dick's uh, Sporting Goods uh, was a total fail. I went there, the, the store was a like little, really tiny. So uh, Dick's, you were really tiny there, so. Um, so no pun intended, maybe a little. So, anyways, uh, went there. Uh, the, the the only thing that they had was a, a deal on yum diggers. So if you buy five packs, they come uh, to two dollars each. So that was a pretty good deal. Uh, two dollars for um, for the uh, the uh, packs of Senko. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. But I, I didn't buy them. So there wasn't that. Uh, I ju I just got a couple of. Uh, Senkos, I got so many different brands. I got some Strike King, some Z-Man, and you know, I couldn't justify just buying five packs of Senko, so that was a bust. So I went to Cander Mountain, got myself some uh, Team Catfish Secret 7, some Berkeley Power Bait Dip uh, for catfish, a couple of treble hooks, uh, two bags of Senko, so I did buy some Senkos, but the Cander Mountain ones. Uh, they was on sale for like $3.99 for the, each pack. One was a 4 inch, they had 20 in there, plus a hook, a Gamatsu hook I think. And the other one was a 5 inch, I took it in the midnight blue. And it had a hook and also inside, I think there was 18 in there. So a pretty big pack for uh, not a lot of money on sale for $3.99. So I said, ah, oh, why not, let's try the, um, the Senko. So, Eventually, I'm gonna go to my dad's house and he's got a small swimming pool So I'm gonna be able to do some Senko test to see the action falling down the waters and stuff like that. So That's gonna be pretty interesting. I think so uh, and later today. I'm gonna go to uh, sale 
so that's a big sporting goods store so that's way bigger than the uh, even Candor Mountain and Dick's combined the only thing is they don't have stuff like the Team Catfish a Secret 7 or any really catfish bait except the Berkeley the, the, those little chunks they don't have the dip bait so uh, that that's why you know that's one thing I wanted to buy I want to buy some some other stuff maybe some some fishing uh, a fishing pole and uh, a reel but I looked at the price and the price were like pretty much similar to, to what I got with the conversion rate of course it was cheaper it was like $79 for um, one of the spinning reel I wanted and compared to here it's like $99 but with the exchange rate it, it's the same it's the same amount of money so I wouldn't I wouldn't have saved any money there so but anyways uh, I'm gonna go there I might film I might bring my my get to uh, I did film a little bit when I went to the States uh, not much a little bit when I was inside Candor Mountain but I was holding the phone upright so it, I should have held it uh, horizontally so miss my mistake there I filmed a little bit when I was walking outside going towards sticks I don't know if I'm gonna include that footage since it's on my phone I, I gotta find a way to transfer it to the computer and it's gonna be a little bit complicated so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna include that footage that's why I want to talk to you uh, guys about the uh, the trip I took just talk to you guys a little bit about that so uh, in this vlog so uh, th that was cool like two thumbs up trip to the states really funny uh, the 99 uh, restaurant chain where I went so uh, was pretty good the uh, smoke burger that uh, I don't uh, like old smoke burger anyways it was a new burger that they had and the guy just said if you want something good I was hesitating between ribs and a burger so he said the burger you, you can't go wrong with it ribs are kind of hit or miss depends on the batch we receive so the guy was honest he says if you want something good something that you won't be disappointed take the burger and I was not disappointed so took two little bucks of Samuel Adams while I was there so uh, Samuel Adams is one beer I like and some some of the beers that you have here in Canada but only in bottles so uh, that one was on tap so you know just a little experience so that that was fun too and talking to the people there and people were really friendly there and, and that was just you know fun experience so I got out of there and I, I, I you know left the US and I had a smile on my face so that was pretty cool so uh, way different than up here in Canada and Montreal and people I mean maybe New York is like that and people are not super friendly all the time but up here in Montreal people are really not friendly and they're there it's just it, it's just you know getting boring to, to be up here so it was a nice change of pace to, to go to the States and uh, to see different types of stores and stuff like that so I didn't stay there too long do too much shopping a couple of hours went to eat something at like five o'clock and went back home so when I came back I went to do a little bit of fishing with the Senkos and stuff that I bought did I catch a fish yeah I caught a fish I think I, I caught it on net jig so I uh, didn't catch it with anything I bought in the states so I only well only buy two uh, two packs of Senkos there so for bass fishing caught a little bass on a net jig didn't film that because it, it had a little bit of rain falling down so I didn't bring the uh, the get two to film so um, that was unfortunate I got some footage today though so like I said I got one I'm gonna show you guys one catfish that I caught with the treble hooks a little stinker's treble hook so I'm gonna show you guys that uh, I'm gonna probably edit some of those parts out because somebody start talking to me after that so but uh, I'm probably gonna edit that out but you guys can see a little bit of the fight and stuff like that and the fish that I caught so it was a pretty nice fish so uh, you know I, I talked about some other things in the vlog I'm gonna try to do a little uh, editing and to bring you guys a cool vlog so uh, hopefully uh, you guys will have some fun watching that and uh, look for me tonight on you now I'm gonna be on you now from now on maybe for a couple of hours at a time each every and every day maybe so I'm gonna try to, to get on you now as much as I can uh, right now I'm on vacation till the 11th so for a couple more days or f four or five days so um, I'm gonna be on you now at night so I don't know when I'm gonna log in or whatever so it's gonna be like couple of days so uh, I'm gonna be there uh, every week even when I'm at work because I got the internet when I'm at work so I got my iPad so I probably can connect you now there too so uh, I got the uh, you know new 4G LTE Wi-Fi in the uh, Chevrolet uh, 
volt and the uh, I'm using the new volt and the uh, spark so electric cars so thumbs up for the environment so uh, yeah guys so I'm gonna end the uh, vlog here so hopefully you guys will have a uh, nice vlog a uh, nice fishing vlog with the Git 2 so I, I just got a new memory card too so it's an 85 megabyte elite card so I think it's gonna help with the footage a little bit so uh, especially if I'm doing higher frame rates like 60 frames per second at 720 and uh, maybe 120 frames per second I may, maybe I'll experiment with that with you know riding bikes and stuff it might be a little bit more fun so but that card hopefully will help me get a little bit more uh, good footage with the Git 2 so uh we'll see about that in the future so uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that and if you did thumbs ups are always appreciated subscribe share and look for me on you now tonight i'm gonna be on you now if you guys want to talk to me so uh so all right guys see you guys later i'm gonna try to catch this on film hopefully it's gonna happen again with this tiny fish is jumping out of the water try to catch some uh, try to catch some flies it's just funny so let's see if we catch it again on film they're really jumping out like a few inch out of the water to try to catch some fish yeah. but right now I got one cat got one catfish pretty good size a couple pounds and catfish are like tanks just getting them out of the water is just dragging compared to a bass or something bass is gonna fight but it's gonna go all direction and it's gonna be hard there you go hope you guys caught that